Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss the 2021 version of West Side Story, starring Ansel Elgort, Rachel Zegler, Ariana DeBose, David Alvarez, Rita Marino, Brian Diarchy James, and Corey Stoll, directed by Steven Spielberg. Now, before I get into this, this is the way that Spielberg has portrayed this movie is based on the 1950s play not so much the 1961 movie starring let me see if i get this right natalie wood and richard Beamer. but i have seen half of the original movie right after i first saw this movie and i'm i haven't finished it off yet but i'm going to at some point but for now let's talk about this remake let's see if it lives up to the original and see if it's any better or worse or just as good we'll see it's 1957 in new york city while the jets who are in an american gang awake riff and cause shenanigans with the puerto ricans who are called the sharks as they fight one another while little john on has a nail in his ear and the first to see it is lieutenant shrink played by Corey stoll along with officer crapty Played by Brian Diarchy James. While being while both being interrogated, the sharks walk away while the actors move like they're on stage. And let me just say something before I move on. This is part of the reason why I didn't do Mamma Mia or any other movie that's based on a musical. Because I don't like watching things like that in general. But I'll make an exception with West Side Story. And plus because it's Spielberg and I have seen the play in person. But... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of musicals in general. I, in my opinion, I'll say I, everybody's got their own opinions, but but we're, I'm about to explain why in a minute. But it's a musical which I'm not the biggest fan of generally, of be, because I can talk. That's why I didn't want to do Mamma Mia when where they're in the middle of a dialogue and burst into song, which always bugged me. But this is a remake of a classic made by a brilliant director named Steven Spielberg. Sure. As he gave these roles to the right actors who can sing. But overall, the problem with, like, Mamma Mia or all those other movies, Phantom of the Opera, is when, whenever they burst, whenever they're in the middle of a dialogue, they start bursting into the song. I don't like that. I really don't like that. When Lieutenant Shrank leaves the crime scene, Riff thinks about getting Tony played by Ansel Elgort, who's on parole, which is never explained why, but I'll let that slide. Because this movie is two and a half hours and doesn't need to go any longer. But they sing their song as Tony never left the Jets, despite he was in prison. And Riff visits Tony at a store owned by Valentina, played by the original actress that played the role that Ariana DeBose is going to play, named Rita Marino, who was Anita in the original movie. That's her name. I was trying to remember who that was. But I thought it was a great choice to hire her as an actress and an executive producer for this movie as Riff asks Tony to go to a dance between the Jets and the Sharks. But Tony refuses, and after Riff leaves, Tony sings a song and based on the trailer. I thought his singing would be bad, but no, he's not a bad singer as he has been in movies like Divergent and The Fault in Our Stars. But I've reviewed him a couple times in the Carrie remake and from 2013. And Baby Driver, but I put my faith in Spielberg's choice of actors as he'll, as he pulled it off great. We get to nighttime, we're introduced to Maria, played by Rachel Zegler, who has a beautiful singing voice as well as the best performer, who deserves the Oscar is Anita, played by Ariana DeBose, as Anita puts on a dress and Bernardo, played by David Alvarez, enters with his best friend Chino. As Bernardo wants Maria to get together with Chino as they go to the dance with Bernardo and Anita and who happens to be there, the Jets and the performances are fantastic as Spielberg knows how to make his performers make their characters their own. While at the dance, I notice that the color blue is the Jets and the color red is the Sharks and then try to ex exercise to dance with and be nice to each other, but the audience and I know that's not going to happen as they dance off against each other, which I had fun while with while Chino embarrassed himself and Tony happens to be there and notices Maria while she's on the dance floor 
and Maria eyes on Tony and goes to some place to be alone and start dancing together and chat with one another. And their chemistry works tremendously until Maria kisses Tony and try again until Bernardo finds her. Tony introduces her himself to Bernardo as he plays rather rough and Riff wants Tony to battle Bernardo in a fight the next night while Tony falls in love with Maria and sings a song about a name like Maria as he goes to her place and Maria finds Tony outside her bedroom and asks her to come away with him from New York and have a beautiful duet together and tonight the and the songs work be beautifully despite the original play from 1957 based was based on William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet which I have a funny story about how I connected that because I was watching the Broadway play of this one weekend in Los Angeles and a few days later and at somewhere in a college class I'll say I watched the original Romeo and Juliet with Leonard Whiting and Olivia Hussey which was released in 1968 which was seven years after the original West Side Story and connected the two stories like a Reese's peanut butter cup and was told that the play was based off of Romeo and Juliet which was an interesting coincidence I'll say Maria wakes up and sees Bernardo and Anita kissing with, while Bernardo apologizes to Maria for behaving like a gangster, and she brings up Tony as Bernardo wants Mary to marry a Puerto Rican, as she wants to think for herself, and that arc shows in that scene alone, which works great, and the song Anita with Bernardo and the Puerto Ricans sing about America is a great song, and the way Spielberg directed this scene is beyond fantastic, as it's a lot of fun. Tony practices the Puerto Rican language with Valentina as he wants to be done with trouble as he falls in love with Maria. And he takes her on a train to a surprise location in Holland while the cops ask the Jets where the fight will take place. But someone who always hangs out with the Jets punches one of the Jets as well as Officer Krupke. And she runs out and they lock the Jets in their office. And the scene was funny because in a ha-ha kind of, and in a ha-ha kind of way, because of the way they make fun of Officer Krupke. And there were times I was laughing for the way they tried to make fun of him, Officer Krupke, I mean. Until he comes back, we see Tony taking Maria to a museum as Tony confesses how he was a bad man until he met Maria. And they sing a song called One Hand, One Heart that was performed at my mother and father's wedding, which sounds romantic for a wedding song, as the scene was very romantic in my opinion, as he promises Maria to tell the Jets to call to call the fight off. Riff gets a gun to prepare as Tony wants him to call off the fight, but refuses to play they play as they play around and wrestle for the gun. It seems rather dangerous if it's not done wrong. Choreo with wrong choreography hands that can dance. Lieutenant Shrank knows there's a fight going on as he blocks the West Side, which explains why this is called West Side Story to begin with, as the fight will take place at West Side, and this and that's as it's that story, and we get a mixture of different songs while preparing for the fight, and Maria goes to work for the evening, and it works under Spielberg's hands. The Jets and the Sharks arrive on West Side, and when they get close to each other with the fish lens, that's a great shot. And Spielberg knows how to create great shots from movies and all that, as Chino arrives at the same time as Tony, and Tony wants to talk with Bernardo, as he tries to tell him he's a changed man, but Bernardo wants to fight Tony anyways, as Tony gets the crap beat out of him, but he realizes he doesn't want to go back to prison, and walks away while Riff and Bernardo fight knife to knife, and Riff gets stabbed by Bernardo, and Tony then stabs Bernardo, and they both die as they start beating each other up, and the cops come towards where they're, they're at, and words are spread after Maria's song, Feeling Pretty, which is a great song as they say Tony murdered Bern Bernardino, no, 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 Bernardo, excuse me, Bernardo, while well, Tony doesn't, didn't have a choice because he was angry as Bernardo kept fighting, and killed Riff, but the dilemma is very well done, I'll say. Maria comes home brokenhearted while Tony was waiting for her as he turns himself to the cops, as Maria begs for him to, 
day while Valentina hears about the fight as she sings as she's depressed about Tony getting himself getting into trouble. I feel bad for these people as these actors do a tremendous job at making me care for these characters. Tony decided to leave Maria's place as Anita gets home and she learns she's in love with her brother's murderer and they sing about breaking it off with Tony as Ariana DeBose's acting in this scene made me think she deserves the Oscar for this performance and Rachel Zegler does great work with her in this scene as I'm going to be reviewing her again in Shazam! Fury of the Gods Chino seeks revenge against Tony as he now has the gun and will plan on using it against Tony while Lieutenant Shrink tries to call Chino with the gun and lets Anita go while chatting with Maria. In the next scene, you know, the Jets are at Valentina's place as the Jet Girl warns everyone Chino is hunting for Tony until Anita shows up for Valentina to Valentina's to talk with Valentina to give a message to Tony as the Jets beat up on Anita and then Valentina comes in and tells them they don't they to let her go and they and the Jets say racist things which is go back to where she came from which is wrong and she delivers a message to Valentina for Tony while all this is very heartbreaking I'll say and is powerfully acted by these actors in these scenes, Tony arrives as Valentina wants to tell Tony Anita's message, and she does, and Tony goes outside to tell Chino to come out and finish him off until Maria shows up, and Chino finds Tony and fires the gun at Tony as he dies, and she is pissed off at Chino for killing him off, by she, I mean Maria, and points the gun at Chino and the witnesses, and she chooses not to fire the gun while the Jets take his body away and Chino surrenders himself. And the climax was sad, sure, but beautiful at the same time as Steven Spielberg made this, made the movie, the original movie justice by doing it the right way. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.8 out of 10. The songs were fantastic, being sung by the actors. Steven Spielberg picked for this movie as he does this does the original movie justice, in my opinion. The cinematography works tremendously, as Spielberg knows how to make great shots in the movies, as he tells characters arcs by letting the actors tell you while performing on the screen. And the performances are tremendous, as Ariana DeBose deserves the ass deserves the Oscar, and Spielberg remade this movie the right way as possible, as it was, again, justice, in my opinion. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for West Side Story, and until then, I feel pretty, or so witty, I feel pretty and witty and fly.